to the channel. You all wanted to know how I made that broccoli chicken casserole, so I'm gonna show you. It's super simple, super easy. You can't mess it up. I am using all like lazy girl ingredients, so let's get started into what you'll actually like need to do this. A casserole dish, mine is just, I think it's eight by eight. Just a standard casserole dish. Bowl, handy dandy hand mixer. You will need garlic, one, and this is up to you as to how much. I'm a huge garlic person, so I put in a whole tablespoon. Sharp cheddar cheese, one cup for the sauce, plus more to top. Three quarters of a cup of half and half. Two bags of the broccoli florets, these are both 12 ounces. An entire eight ounce brick of cream cheese. The entire 22 ounce bag of the grilled and ready oven roasted diced chicken breast. I did cut it up a little bit more. Just so there's more chicken in every bite. And then of course, salt and pepper. Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with the eight ounce brick of room temperature cream cheese in the bowl. We are gonna add our cheddar. Make sure we get all the cheese. Then we are going to add in our half and half or heavy whipping cream, whichever you prefer. Garlic. and then salt and pepper. All of that is to taste, of course. We mix. So you wanna taste for seasoning. See if it needs more salt, pepper, a little more garlic. Ooh, she thick. A little more salt. I'm not gonna bother to turn the mixer back on. We'll just mix that in by hand. Next, the rest of the ingredients. Chicken. And yes, I did heat this up like three quarters of the way in the microwave. Definitely cook your broccoli. And actually, you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to incorporate this. I had cut mine open and drained it as well just to get rid of some of the broccoli juice. Make sure you get it all over your counter. Otherwise it just doesn't taste the same. Oh my God, it's falling everywhere, it's killing me. You're gonna get out your dish and go ahead and fill. All right, make sure it is all nice and even. Next, we're gonna sprinkle on a little bit more cheese. This is to your liking. So this was the whole bag. So I did a cup in the sauce and then a cup on top. This looks so good. <laughs> all right, and then you're gonna put this in a preheated 400 degree oven until it looks like a casserole is supposed to look. I should have my own cooking show. All right guys, so this is it out of the oven. So it did burn a little bit just because I left it under the broiler while I was signing up for something. Um, but I cooked it at 400 for about 25 minutes and then it went under the broiler for about five. So I would do maybe three and you'll get a crust. All right guys, hope you make it. If you do, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.